So this guy and this girl are walking down the street, no real destination in mind, and this guy is so preoccupied with looking at this girl's eyes that he completely fails to notice that there's a pole, a pole right in front of him, and he winds up walking into it. He hurts his head pretty badly. So... He went to the doctor's to get it bandaged up. In the doctor's office, he saw a lot of strange people sitting around. And he walked up to one of them, a lady that looked like a gypsy, and he asked her what she was doing there. She said that her caravan had crashed into a strange, um, into a UFO. And so she was going to the doctor to get her um, foot amputated. So he, uh, he said, well, wh what happened? She said, well, the, um, the UFO had some strange uh, lasers, came out and chopped off people's limbs. Little did they know they were all hanging from ropes and that all they had to do was call out letters to each other. And when they got the letters wrong, their limbs would come back. It was a massive game of hangman that everyone lost, but at the same time, everyone won. So... As the game of Hangman continued, they shouted out letters, but they got too many right, and only their legs came back. So they came down off the Hangman's stools with only legs, without arms, and continued on their way. They came across a homeless man, and he was eating an ice cream cone. And he said to them, I know you want some of this, but you can't have any until you find out what's underneath the cone. So the homeless man sat there while they pondered what to do next. While the homeless man wasn't looking, one of them stole his shoes and he ran after them. And so at that point, they just ate the ice cream cone and found out that what was inside was a little gnome. And that little gnome also had a message and he said that if you don't be nice to the homeless men, then there will be no more ice cream cones, and that would just be really sad. The thought that the homeless man was not able to connect with his brother, having not seen him for 15 years, and having him pass with his back to him and not recognizing him, which would have been perhaps his opportunity to get back on his feet again or at least connect with a relative that could have taken him in, gotten him to a new place where he could get his life together. John has decided to go to the library and find a book to read which would help him to find, to put his life together. Um, when he went to the library, he was disappointed because there were too many books, but none of them actually were the ones that interest him in any way. Therefore, he decided to find that somewhere else, not in the library, not in the books. So he went outside and uh, started asking people uh, where, what is their purpose in life that maybe he can copy someone else's and just find his own. He wasn't going to copy it the way that he was copying it. He was going to copy it how he wanted to. He was going to make it his own chicken farm, just the way he wanted to raise his own chickens. So Farmer Fred went out from there and started raising chickens by the dozens. And he started pulling in eggs by the dozens too. One day he came into his chicken ranch and all the chickens were there throwing eggs back at each other and whipping them across the room and, and he realized that he maybe shouldn't have copied it the way that they had copied it. In that moment Farmer Fred ran back to his house covered in eggs and started drawing up a new plan for a chicken ranch. The plans were set, the blueprints were made, everything was in order to build this new chicken ranch. This chicken ranch would be the front for the gangsters of New York. They would use this chicken ranch to hide their dealings 
while Malaysian workers stuffed all sorts of drugs into boxes in the back. The, the chicken ranch would be large, large enough to hide this, and also in the middle of nowhere. There was nothing around but sand and sun and scorching heat. No water for miles, and they traveled for days, months, years it even seemed. And finally they found an oasis where not only they found water and food, but happiness and joy forever. That's fine actually. Okay. <laughs>